Good afternoon. At least that's when I'm creating this video. So, just maybe you just watched the fluorescent video or just a quick overview of the fluorescent penetrant inspection method. Just wanted to show you a quick overview of the visible dye penetrant inspection method. Okay, what I'm using now, let me get my chair down here just real quick. Sit for a second. I'm using a Magnaflux, just basic visible dye penetrant, an Ardrox, or sorry, Ardrox developer, and then an Ardrox cleaner. Now, the problem with that is they're not all the same brand, and everybody tells you you need to have the same brand, which is to a degree true. But for what we need have now, just for our quick overview, what we have these three different versions or these three different brands, I guess two different brands, but three different things will work for us. Okay? I just took a little bit of that visible dye penetrant, sprayed in the top of this cap to try and keep down on the mess. So I'm just going to use the brush method. I'm pretending already that I have already pre-cleaned with this, which I actually have. I sprayed it down with that solvent prior to and let it flash off. Okay, I didn't want to have to put you through the pain and suffering of watching uh, more or less paint dry. So I'm just brushing my penetrant on there, real simple. Okay, again. I'm doing my visible dye basic method overview here. Really nothing too terribly difficult about it. Okay, let my let my penetrant dwell there for a second. Really we would say 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to come back with a dry lint-free cloth. Paper towel is what I got right now. And wipe one direction, try and get as much of this penetrant off as I can. Okay, try and get as much of this off now as I can. Wiping one direction, okay, and everybody everywhere tells you dry, wet, dry, okay? So I wiped it off as much as I could one direction. Now I have my next solvent dampened, okay, solvent dampened lint-free cloth. I'm just coming back with my solvent dampened cloth here. Whoops, supposed to travel one direction again. Kind of messed that up right there. Okay, so solvent dampened cloth. Right there. Now I would come back with my dry cloth one last time to make sure that I don't have anything left. So I just wipe that off. Okay. I've got just a little left. So I come back one more time. Good enough for me. Okay. I want to make sure to try not to over clean because, like before, if we over clean, we get no indications, and no indications are bad. So, I've let my dwell time expire. Now I'm going to my developer. Okay, I'm going to get developer all over here, but I'll clean that up in a minute. Okay, spraying my part. I'm trying to speed up the process just a little bit. And, to my surprise, there are not very many indications. Okay, I've got a good kind of background telling me that I'm not over cleaning or any of that stuff, which is good. And I've got just a faint indication here. If I can get you close enough, I'll show you. I've got just a faint indication right above my finger there. Back out here a little bit. If we can clean that up. It's hard to see. If I had let my dwell time actually travel through the full 10 minutes like I was supposed to, it would have given me a, a good, clean, or a better indication. Let me get you refocused back down here. There we go. Would have given me a better indication, but being how I didn't leave my developer or my penetrant on there for very long, right now, I just see not very much, which is not a bad thing, okay? But that just tells me for this piece, since I know there's cracks in it, that I would need to let my dwell time last longer. Okay, I got just a faint indication above that, but if I would come back and do it again, I would have the full-blown indication like I want to actually see. So, quite simple little method there. That would tell me visible dye, penetrant, whether I have any defects. Commonly used out in petrochemical, refining, nuclear industry, things of that nature. Not necessarily used in aircraft at all anymore. So, just a quick little video to show you that, that basic method. Not too terribly difficult. Uh, got one more to go over system quality checks, and then I'll come back and show you 
this last piece here to show you that it actually does work. So, any questions, feel free to contact me.